that day when I was heartbroken over a guy who didn't like me back. So I asked a friend, a very honest friend, to tell me, Hoy, ano ka lang akong gawin? Sabi niya sa akin, Actually, kasalanan mo yun eh. Pinag-usapan na natin yung red flags dyan sa guy na yan. Pero pinilit mo pa rin siyang gustuhin. Ano kaya meron sa'yo? Bakit hindi ka nakinig? Ah, sobra ako na offend sa friend ko. My friend was just being very matter of fact. She was starting to help me find a solution to my problem. Hindi pa ako ready. I think it's okay to acknowledge that I am not ready for a solution. But I also have to realize that it's not anyone's fault. It's just my choice. Mabigat pa ako at hindi ko pa kaya. Ayoko pang kayanin. Distance and distraction. Pag sobrang negative na yung emosyon ko, ayoko na munang pag-isipan yung problema. Para lang makapahinga yung puso ko, I need to distance myself from the problem. And my favorite distractions are feel-good movies, serial killer documentaries, funny dog videos, anything to get my mind off the problem and just let my emotions calm down a bit. Venting just makes you feel better. I have two friends that I vent to a lot. Meron kaming chat group. We call ourselves Cupcake Girls kasi nagsimula yun. The three of us in a cafe venting over cupcakes and coffee. So since then, uy, okay to ah. Yung may makikinig lang sa'yo na hindi ka huhusgahan. I don't know if it's just a girl thing, pero pag nilalabas ko lahat, as honest as possible, to clearly put my emotions into words. Sorry siya ng sorry, pero hindi naman inaayos yung mali niya. Kasing sorry yun. Nakakagaan ng loob eh. Bakit kailangan pa out loud? In my experience, it's like I'm getting my thoughts out of my head. Para ko siyang nilalatag on a table so that it's easier for me to organize. Feeling ko pag nasa loob lang na utak ko yung thoughts ko, mas madali akong maguluhan. Minsan gusto ko may kausap. Ibang times naman gusto ko ako lang. And when I can't say my thoughts out loud, I write it down or I type it on my phone. Minsan nga mas gusto ko yun because that way I'll have a record of all my negative thoughts. Para when I look back, I can have clear evidence of how I think when I'm at my lowest. Ano binalikan ko ko ano yung pinagtatype ko don? Nakakaya. Pag high emotions ka talaga, everything gets magnified. The good becomes great, but the bad becomes worse. Kailangan ko magset ng time limit. Nakakaadik, dumistansya sa problema, o maglabas ng sama na loob. These things they make me feel good, but no matter how good I feel, venting or distraction never solves the problem. The longest time was six days. So, para after six days, okay, wait, mag one week ka na. Punta na tayo sa solution. I need to do a heart check. Do I still want comfort, or am I ready for a solution? So, if I choose to move on to a solution, pwede ko naman siyang gawin kahit hindi pa ako 100% okay. Nararamdaman ko na yung feeling na parang, tama na to, nothing's happening, kailangan ko na yatang gawin yung part ko para malampasan ko na yung problema na to. Kailangan ko ring tanggapin, looking for solutions will not be comfortable. No making excuses, no palusot. Okay! Speak positive things into the air para ma-change yung nega vibe around me. As long as I'm alive, may solusyon sa problema ko. Even at my lowest, kahit marami akong kapalpakan, I am loved by a perfect father. I try to think of myself as a daughter na nagsusumbong sa tatay niya. Na alam ko yung tatay ko, concerned siya sa akin. But at the same time, he's also fair. Kahit anong tago ko sa mga ibang detalye na kinahihiya ako, alam na niya yun. I think the most important part of venting to God is asking Him what He thinks about my problem before I was married. I was talking to a mentor, para ko siyang ate or nanay na nayan. I was telling her about boy problems that I was having, and I was talking so much. By the time that I was done, sabi niya, okay. Keep quiet for 10 seconds. Tapos tanong yun natin si Papa ano ang opinion niya. So parang okay, weird nito pero sige. I remember just staring out the window and in about three seconds, a thought popped into my head: distractions. 
So, sinabi ko yun. At saka kausap namin. Sobra akong pinaproblema yung mga boy problems ko at the time. When actually, I should be focusing more on my career, strengthening my relationship with my parents, with friends. O nga, no? Distractions. As much as ang sarap mag-blame, it's your fault! It's your fault! Si Papa, he will always turn it back! Ah! He will always remind me na, Huy, anak, ako nang bahala sa kanila. Pero yung sayo, ayusin naman natin. 